Comic Con, and I'm told that there's 65,000 people yeah. here on this weekend, which is bigger than any Boston Comic Con has ever had. I'm working on Dead Man for the first time in over the 30 years. Oh no! Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. I'm uh, I'm doing special effect covers. All six covers are going to be special effect covers. Mm -hmm. First one is a glow in the dark. Second one is an, an invisible picture. You look through the first cover, you see the back of the back of the first cover, the rest of the first cover. Each one is going to be an effect. I'm going to have the greatest time. And anybody who does who gets this comic book, read every word. Whatever you do, do not miss one word of this comic book. And it will connect to the original series? In fact, it will connect with the original series. It's not that I mean to insult the series that came in between, but I never really told anybody the secrets of the original Dead Man. Mm -hmm. For example, he's got another brother and sister. For example, he's got a mother and father who are still alive and have their own small circus. And there's a lot of friction between his parents and himself. And unfortunately, Dead Man's dead. <laughs> So very hard to resolve these little problems, and he was not killed as a test, and it involves Ra's al Ghul. And I gave you some little hints in Batman Odyssey. For those of you who haven't read Batman Odyssey, you gotta pick it up and you gotta read the in-between stuff. There's stuff going on in Batman Odyssey where Batman is there, where some of the things that happen involve what we're talking about in the new series. You really have to read it. It's an intelligent approach to inter integrating storytelling. And how did it feel to revisit Batman again after so many years? Batman? In Batman Odyssey. I, I didn't feel like there were any years in between at all. I mean, I, you have to understand, I've done uh, sketches at conventions, I've done, you know, various alter variant covers. Uh, I'm involved in the comic book business, no matter, like, I've spent a lot of time outside of the comic book business waiting for the comic book business to catch up to me. When I did Superman vs. Muhammad Ali, which was the last major project that I did, it's like 30 years ago, okay? I did more stuff in there than you've seen in any comic books at that time. Uh, what I had to do is wait for time to go by, new guys to come up, new people to approach these comic book problems, and then I step, now I'm stepping back in to fight on an equal basis with these guys and to compete with them for us all to have a good time together with all the good technology, get making reasonable amounts of money and doing really integrated stories. And that's what I've had to wait for all these years. So I did other things and I learned other lessons that I can now apply to comic books. I, I, I think it was good for me to do Superman. I didn't really do uh, much Superman in the past. But the thing that I did that's more important is I, bring, I brought Jack Kirby characters into that in a big way from Calabac to all the other characters so that you got to exhibit Jack Kirby's characters. And guess what's happening now after that series? DC Comics is now bringing uh, Jack Kirby characters back. Mm -hmm. It took me to step in and say, hey, let's pay attention to Jack Kirby's characters. Let's explore them and see what's going on. For everybody to wake up and go, hey, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Let's do it. Because Jack Kirby characters are fantastic. So anything for, you're working on anything for Jack Kirby's anniversary? I, I have really nothing to say about Jack Kirby because of the Look, when he was alive, I loved him. But I was one of the lucky people that was close to Jack Kirby. I loved Jack Kirby while he was alive. I loved his wife, Roz. I got to see the best of Jack Kirby. The rest of this is, unfortunately for the rest of you, you get to see it in retrospect. I got to see it front, front on, face, face in, and everything that was going on with Jack Kirby. I got to help him. I got to help Jack Kirby do books outside of regular comics. He did Captain Planet because I approved of the people who were doing Captain Planet. I allowed everybody to understand that variant that comic book companies outside of DC and Marvel were very good for, for artists to do. And I brought Sergio Aragonis and Jack Kirby into doing stuff outside of the business along with me. So we got that basically changed the industry. Look at how many how many other companies there are now doing comic books. Thank you very much. It's this a is pleasure. Great.